If you've ever wanted to use Google's VO 3.1 or Sora 2 but got stuck because one costs a fortune and the other requires impossible to find invite codes, this is your lucky day. CapCut just made both of them accessible in one place, completely free to use inside their latest update. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly where to find Sora 2 and VO 3.1 inside CapCut, how to activate them, and how to start generating cinematic AI videos that look like they were made by a studio. No more switching between platforms, no more paying for multiple subscriptions. Everything you need is right here inside CapCut. This works for both CapCut Mobile and Desktop. So grab your prompts, open your app, and let's dive straight into the walkthrough. Make sure your CapCut app is updated to the latest version. Launch your CapCut app, whether you are on mobile or desktop, and open a brand new project. Once your project loads, you'll notice the familiar layout with your media import panel, timeline, and editing workspace. But at the left side, look just below your usual import options. You'll see something new, a tab labeled AI Media. Go ahead and click that, then select AI Video. This is where the magic begins. You are now inside CapCut's brand new AI Video Workspace, a feature that brings Sora 2 and Google VO 3.1 directly into your editing environment. No external tools, no complicated setup. Everything happens right here inside CapCut. At the top, you'll see two primary tabs, text to video and image to video. The first one, text to video, is exactly what it sounds like. You type your idea or scene description as a prompt and the AI turns it into a fully generated video. The second option, image to video, is what we'll be focusing on shortly. It allows you to take any still image, whether it's a photo, a portrait, or a render, and bring it to life with smooth cinematic motion. Now look just below those tabs. This is your prompt box, the place where you describe exactly what you want the AI to create. It could be as simple as a cinematic aerial shot of a futuristic city at sunset, or as detailed as a full scene breakdown. But here is where things get really interesting, the model dropdown menu. Click it, and you will see CapCut's complete list of integrated AI engines. You will find some of the older models, but pay attention right here. Sitting proudly in that list are Sora 2, VO 3.0, and VO 3.1. This is where you choose the brain behind your generation, whether you want Sora's storytelling consistency or VO's ultra-realistic cinematic output. Next, we move to your basic settings. You can set your duration, and with Sora 2, you can now generate clips up to 12 seconds long. And choose your aspect ratio depending on what platform you are creating for. Whether it is YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, you can easily switch between 16x9, 9x16. And one last thing to note, CapCut uses a credit system for AI generation. You will see your available credits displayed right on the screen, along with how many each render will cost. It is transparent, easy to track, and lets you manage your usage efficiently. Now that you know where everything is and how it works, let's move on to the best part, creating our first AI video right inside CapCut. We'll start with a text-to-video prompt using Sora 2. For this example, I'm going to paste in a detailed cinematic description to really test what it can do. I'm asking for an aerial drone shot, which means it's a pretty complex scene. Lots of movement, lighting, and perspective changes. Before generating, let's quickly check the settings. I'll keep the aspect ratio at 16 by 9, perfect for YouTube or widescreen projects, and set the duration to 4 seconds so we can get a clean look at the motion with less credit. Now, let's generate. After a few seconds, our video is ready. Let's preview it. Wow, that's unbelievable. Look at the movement. It's smooth, controlled, and perfectly mimics that slow cinematic drone push-in, just like we described. It captured the golden hour lighting beautifully with those long, soft shadows and that warm atmospheric glow. And the best part? This was all created right inside the CapCut editor. Now, let's try generating a video using VO 3.1. 
we'll use the same text to video feature so we can make a proper comparison between both models. I'll paste in the exact same cinematic prompt we used earlier. Select VO 3.1 from the model dropdown, set my aspect ratio to 16 by 9, and then click Generate. After just a few seconds, our video is ready. Let's preview it. Wow, this looks incredible. The detail is on another level. The reflections, the depth, the dynamic camera motion. You can actually feel the realism in every frame. VO 3.1 interprets lighting, motion, and perspective with such precision that it almost feels like real drone footage shot on a high-end camera. It's smooth, cinematic, and crystal clear, all generated directly inside CapCut. No external rendering, no AI platform switching, just one seamless workflow. This is what makes the new update so powerful. Whether you prefer Sora's storytelling focus or Vio's hyper-realistic visual quality, you now have both engines integrated in one editor. Once you are done generating, it's instantly available in your media bin, ready to use. No exporting, no uploading, no third-party transfers. Just drag it straight into your timeline, add your titles, your background music, your grading, and you've got a professional quality sequence ready to go. This is exactly what I meant by a workflow shift. Everything you need is now in one place, and it's faster than ever. But you might be wondering, what do I actually use this for? Think about your own projects. How many times have you searched endlessly for the perfect B-roll? Maybe a futuristic city building? a slow drone shot over the Amazon forest, or even a microscopic view of an object. Now, you can create those exact clips tailored to your story in seconds. So go ahead, update your CapCut app and start experimenting with this new AI video workspace. And if you don't already have CapCut Pro, check the link in the description below. It gives you a free one week trial so you can explore all the latest AI models, including Sora 2 and VO 3.1 for yourself. I'll see you in the next one.